Hello and welcome. Today we're going to explore how to apply variable pressure loads to shells within REM elements. This is a new feature that is particularly useful when modeling structures like retaining walls, tanks, or other elements exposed to non-uniform pressures like hydrostatic loads. This feature ensures more accurate load application, which leads to better structural results performance, and safety. So let's get started. In this model, we have a predefined shell element representing a window subjected to hydrostatic pressure. Before adding a variable pressure though, I ensured the shell element features boundary conditions and material properties as shown in the spreadsheet explorer. To apply a variable pressure, We'll go into the load application section for shells. We are adding a hydrostatic pressure with zero pressure at the top and a pressure equal to the product of the density of the fluid, acceleration due to gravity, and the height of the window applied at the bottom. We have two spreadsheet tools we can use to apply this pressure. We can select the Add Variable Pressure tool, which provides us with the option to add a pressure at three distinct nodal locations. In our case, for a hydrostatic pressure, we can apply rho g h equal to about 49 pascals at nodes one and two, representing the two bottom nodes, and a pressure of zero at node three, which represents one of the top two nodes. Otherwise, we could also select the Add Hydrostatic Pressure tool to produce the same results more quickly as it is a hydrostatic load. We will keep the default density for water and specify a zero pressure at the elevation at the top of the shell. You can also specify if you want it on the interior or exterior face. In our case though, will apply it to the exterior face. Once applied, we can easily visualize the pressure distribution across the shell element. The pressure starts low at the top and gradually increases towards the base as represented by the pressure arrows. The next step would be to run the analysis and see how this variable pressure affects our structure. After the analysis is complete, we can review the deformed shape and check the stress distribution across the shell element. That is a quick overview of how to apply variable pressure to shell elements. This capability allows you to model complex loading conditions with ease, ensuring accurate and reliable designs. If you'd like to learn more about RAM elements or our other structural analysis tools, please visit our website at bentley.com or please check out more of our videos at bentley structural on youtube thank you for watching